It's your boy Odin from Host.Promo. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can install and set up your own Git server using Git-T, which is basically a decentralized Git server with a graphical interface. So you don't have to rely on GitLab.com or GitHub.com. You can have your own server for free, and I will show you how to do that. And if you want to use DigitalOcean, I have a $50 trial down below. You can come on here and they have a one-click application for GitT. That's why I recommend it. You can sign up, go here, click Create, go to Droplets, and then go to the top and click Marketplace tab, and then scroll down and select Git T, and then configure where you want to set the server up in the world. You can run a $5 server fine, okay? So this is my instance that has been installed, and I have a test user, and right now I have no repositories, okay? So I'm logged in like this. It has a dashboard where I will have my Git stats, and I can come here and I can click create and I can do a new repository or a new migration. New migration is really cool. If you already have existing Git repositories, you can basically migrate and clone from a URL, okay? So for example, JSON box is trending right now on GitHub. I don't really know what it is, but it's trending. So we'll go ahead and we'll download it. So we'll, we'll take the URL, we'll go ahead and put the URL here. If you have a private repository, you'll need to put your username and password in. But if it's public, you can just put the Git URL and then you're gonna select the owner and then the repository name. So we could just call it JSON box and you can make your repository private. And another cool thing is you can make the repository a mirror. What that means is every time they push an update, it will update over here on our server, okay? Uh, let's just not make it a mirror. Say we want to just fork it or, or clone it and then start from our own server. We can do this, so we can just click Migrate Repository and it's gonna go ahead and git clone that repository and boom, now it's on our own server, okay? So if you already have an existing, a bunch of existing repos, you can easily, easily transfer them over with git t. It looks very, very similar to GitHub. You can view the readme, the files. Um, you can come on here and you can do issues. We can do go ahead and type a new issue. Hello, you uh, did not include a good readme. Please update the readme. Okay, and then you can set some labels if you want. Uh, it looks like we need to create labels. You can also drop files, okay? And then you can click create issue, and boom, you have your issues. You can do pull requests, you can create releases, you can set up a wiki, uh, and you can also monitor the activity. So it's very, very similar to GitHub in my opinion. Um, you can view all the commits. Uh, and yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then if you go to explore now, you can see the repositories, you can see the different users that have been set up for GitT. So there's a default admin user as well as a test user that I created. Um, and you can also set up organizations, okay? And let's go ahead and just try to create a repository and not do a migration. We'll call this repository uh, host uh, dot promo okay for my website um, and then the description we'll just do host off promo website now if we go down we can add a git ignore uh, and we can also add a license that's pretty cool uh, we'll do the WTF license if you don't know what that is it's pretty funny you should check it out and then initialize repository it will add git ignore license readme we'll click create repository and boom, now we have our repository. So it's super, super easy. This is if you've used GitHub or GitLab before, then you can definitely use GitT, okay? And you can own all your data instead of Microsoft owning and being able to access all your proprietary code, you can run it on your own server and ensure your privacy and company security. And they also have a bunch of different settings um, for repositories, you can add collaborators, uh, you can set up branches, you can set up webhooks. So after, for example, after you commit, you can go have it, have it ping another server. 
and then that server can do something and you can also looks like deploy keys okay so I think this is a pretty cool tool I would highly recommend you check out get T I will leave the link for the free trial down below I did have to make a few small changes to the configuration file to get it started I think DigitalOcean needs to fix something I will also leave those in the description and that will be very helpful to get started but yeah you can get started with git t within minutes and you can be running your own git server it's that easy nowadays if you have any questions leave them down below if you found this video helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and make sure to check out my website host.promo and i wish you guys the best of luck with git t peace out